time for us to return back to New York Mysteries number two. And I'm your Gibbs, and we have a sledgehammer, and we got some star fragments. Yay! We got some things going on here. We are, of course, outside the prison. Oh, I can hear the birds, too. Trip, trip, tripping away. So it's showing here that we... Uh, oh, it looks like we're actually missing a few. Oh, yeah, that's right. I couldn't necessarily find them. Anyways, let's go into the prison hall here. Let's see what we got going on over here. I'll take that. Another star fragment. A rag and a radio. The batteries from this radio might be useful. I wonder if I can just rag it up. Or not. Never mind. So we still can't open that without a key. And it's still dark down there. So I'm not sure what sledgehammer we're going to be able to to get out of here, but we'll deal with that. Now, why did I need a rag? No, I don't think that's the case. Uh, and we need to get this out of the way, too. I'm not sure if the hammer will help. No, we probably just need to open it, right? Ah, this is what we need. Rub it up, dub that off there. Ah, uh, what number is that? One, one, seven, one? Can't even tell. Uh, four digit code so far, I have no idea where I could use it. I can't, I'm not even sure what that number is. Good grief. Oh, three, one, nine, seven? Let's try that. No, it doesn't even make a sense. It doesn't even go there. Oh, silly me. That's just crazy. So I have this hammer, and I'm looking for a reason to use it. No such luck. Okay, what does our map say? It says we gotta go back to the prison hall. Why? Why, why, why? Still can't get up there. Uh, I'm not sure if we can just break that open. Nope. Oh, oh, maybe the code here. Three, three, one, nine, seven. Yeah, open, says me. Let's go inside. Ooh, it's like an office with all sorts of filing container thingies. Ooh, name Henry Tyler. Born 18, 18. Born in 1918 in Burlington, Vermont. Graduated from Burlington High School. Moved to New York in 1936. In 1941, began working at Sing Sing Correctional Facility. In December 1959, he was president. Oh, present at the incident uh, with a condemned prisoner. Confidential information stored in safe. Top level security clearance required. Okay, good to know. Turn it on. There we are. An eagle figurine is missing here. Kitty cat. Found you. Got myself a push broom, because, you know, push broom. This is where our star, fra star fragments are going to go. Uh, anything else we can do in here? Let's see. Yeah, apparently we got something going on here. Oh, yeah, the slides, of course. Star fragment. This film projector looks operational. We just have to give it a film to watch, right? Yes. Now, where does this. Oh, the apple's gotta go here. Find the parts of the model and arrange them correctly. Oh, wow. Things got gravity here. Uh, tree looks like it's fallen. Holy cow, there's actually going to be quite a lot of them. I just realized up here. That's neat. Whoa. Need to get a tire somewhere. You get a tire. You get a tire. Don't know where this is going to go. Oh. Right there. 
Oh! What the heck is that supposed to mean? Oh, it means I have to add something there. Oh, at the back of the bench. There you go. Is this something? It is. Two more to go. Look at the bug! Come on. One more, what is it? If I figure out what's missing, then I can probably figure out... Oh! This has to go over here. Excellent, secret compartment! It's a film! It's movie night, everyone! <laughs> oh, it's empty! Aw, oh, That's no good. I wanted to have movie night. I'll take the lever handle, some tape, and a picture. 462. I think that's going to be helpful, helpful, helpful. Some faces in this photo look familiar. This is Frederick Davis and this Henry Tyler. Hmm. Wait a minute. Bishop? Why is he in this photo? Uh-oh. Bishop, why are you there, mister? Let's go back outside and... Uh, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Lever handle? Uh, we want to go back this way. Put the lever handle there. I, what I, I keep wanting to call it the lever handle. Ooh, that's kind of... Cool. Glitter! Oh, shoot, what was the code? 462. Let's open it up. Do I just bash it out of there? Oh, why can't I put the code in there? Huh. Oh, maybe the broom? No. Alright, fine. We got some silhouettes. Oh, maybe we gotta jack it up first. Ah. That makes sense. Oh, look at a kitty cat! <gasps> what you doing, kitty cat? What am I doing here? Can opener? Box is too high. Oh, we're just gonna tear off the sleeve? Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to fix this. Hand wheel is missing. I have that. And yeah, we'll take that. Can we not put it here? Yes, we can. Put that there. Got some cat food. Oh, kitty cat. Here, get some cat food. Get out of there. Come on, have some cat now. I bet the cat can suck into this car and won't get out. Jack it up then. There you go, boy. Or girl. Yum! Treats for you! <laughs> I love I'm stuck in the animation here, the cat eating. Come on, give me your key. There we go. Now, what was actually locked? Huh. Not sure. Oh yeah, the cabinet over here is locked. And now we have a screwdriver. Not sure where I'm supposed to use it though. Oh, the kitty cat's still over there chewing on some of that cat food. Got a rag too. Let's find out what I'm supposed to be doing here. Apparently there's something here. Need a screwdriver, okay. It's all dirty. Now it's all shiny clean. Okay. Arrange the microchip parts so that all of the nodes are connected. Huh. Interesting. 
so I think that might go there. Yep. Oh, I love that it changes. Uh, you know, it shades it or darkens it or whatever. It's nice. Makes life a little easier. Uh, that probably goes there. And there. Oh, maybe that goes there. It's all coming together now. Gasoline! Now I can put it in this vehicle. And move it out of the way. Let's put on the gas here. Totally makes more sense to me that we had to move it off of that. Now what was the code? 462. Open please. Got myself the star fragment and a flashlight. Let's put it together now. Put you there. Pretty cool, I like this star fragment. Uh oh, what have we done? We've assembled it. We still need those batteries though. Okay, so we know the batteries were in that radio. Let's go see. Uh, where was that now? I don't think it was here. Broom? No, okay, that doesn't help me. Bro, maybe to get the radio? Yep. Haha, <laughs> nice. Smash it. Really? I already. Oh, I can't. Oh. <sighs> Screwdriver. Why do you have to be that way? Let's go to the archive. Star goes here. I figured there would be a puzzle. Do, 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 do. Boo. Now we gotta get this one over here. Okay, and then we're got those two, and we're good. Ooh, I'll take that. Blowtorch, sure. <gasps> Prisoner Hugo Brody, born in 1932. Average build, dark hair, height, six feet, weight, 200 pounds at the time of arrest. Lived with his father, Samuel Brody, at 87 Stone Street in Manhattan. Sentenced to death for murdering five people. On December 13, 1959, at 9 p.m., an incident took place during the execution. The prisoner who was seated in the electric chair disappeared without a trace. Witnesses reported a flash and numerous electric discharges. Due to the lack of further details and the exceptional nature of the event, the decision was made not to publicize the event pending further clarification. At the time of the execution, the following persons were present in the room. Colin Smith, Macy Gilbert, Carolyn Aldrich, Paul Kimberly, Maria Dyson, Frederick Davis, Henry Tyler, Lucas Bishop, and Tony Thorns. Ooh, we're gonna watch films. It's movie night. Let's go ahead and do that. Go. Okay, and there's our pathway down second from top. 
Okay, good. Leave that on. Why not? Let's see if we can get in here. So I think it was like this. Oh, it's already showing it there anyways. Now we have a screwdriver. Let's go and actually uh, get those batteries. One, two batteries. Now we got flashlights. Uh, maybe we gotta open it first? Sure. <laughs> I love the sound effects of those batteries going in. That's awesome. Now we're ready to walk down this creepy hallway. Ooh. Let's go. <gasps> the electric chair room. Good grief. It's a medallion, but why? What's going on? It's crazy. Looks like we have a bag here, and of course the zipper is missing its pull tag. Of course it is. <gasps> Look what I found! Hee hee hee. Oh, my cheeks are sore from me smiling so much. Lucky lucky. Haha. <laughs> Yes, the slide, sure, but the crowbar, even better. Sweet. Check that out. This man's shaped mark looks similar to the ones from the other crime scenes. But how did this one turn up on the ceiling? It's kind of bizarre. Oh, something's down here. Oh no, the crack in the floor is too narrow to pull out whatever is inside. Well, I don't want to have anything to do with what we're gonna have to do just yet. No thank you. Mark of the ceiling, I entered the execution room. What a dreadful place. After a short examination, I came across a burn mark on the ceiling in the shape of a man. As if something threw the body up in the air and moved it through the ceiling. I have no idea how this could be possible, but I'd better check the rooftop. All right, fair enough. Looks like we can go back here. Let's do that first. Hi, I've got a bone to pick with you, mister. Interesting indeed. So this case is connected to the disappearing criminal, but I don't recall any details. Everything happened so fast and we never did find any traces of the vanished prisoner. The prison authorities decided to hush the case up and not make a fuss. If you ask me, it was an excellently prepared and masterfully conducted prison break. We need to check all possible scenarios, even those which sound straight out of the fantasy world. Sounds good to me. Even those straight out of the fantasy world, you say? So I still have no idea what's morphing in here. Uh, or what the collectible is. I know I'm missing both. I haven't been able to figure out what. What was the issue here? Better not touch it with my bare hands. Huh. Alright, fair enough. Let's go back here. Oh, wait. Let's go back here. So there is a morphing object in here somewhere. Let's find it. Wait, is this where I want to be? Oh no, we'll, we'll come back to that. We want to be over here by the elevator. Oh, crowbar! That's right, I totally forgot about you in the elevator. Oh, and it's the Statue of Liberty's hand. <laughs> I thought we were going to use the crowbar on the other spot. There you go. I didn't think that through, did I? Alright, Lady Liberty. Now I have a bar. Okay. Well, we're out of time. We'll be back for more Nierk Mysteries High Voltage very soon. Thank you for watching. I'm your Gibbs.